what is going on guys today's video we're gonna be helping you guys get some more fps and some better quality so you can dominate in caldera the new warzone map that everyone's so hyped about including me i absolutely love it. it's been a blast you know leave it down in the comments below what you think about it i know some people have mixed opinions but i'm actually curious what you guys think but nonetheless we're gonna be going over all the settings we're gonna be showing you everything i'm rocking all the best settings to run to make uh, like I said, just have better FPS, better quality. Uh, so you can just see stuff, man, because it's hard with a lot of bushes, a lot of trees. And obviously, I do play on controller, so I'm going to be showing you guys the best controller settings as well to help you beam. And yeah, just beam. So enough talking. Let's get to it. Settings, quality, graphics. No, let's go to display first. So obviously, full screen. Uh, I am rocking the 3090. We got 240 refresh rate. Make sure this is always at 100 and usually at your render resolution because... For example, when I first loaded up this game, it was all the way at 150, and that will destroy your frames. The quality will look a little better, but you want to make sure it's on 100. Uh, I do have this disabled. I have this on 100. I don't know if it really matters, but uh, that's what was really recommended to me by someone who knows their stuff. Um, for brightness, I have it on 52. I don't really like 50. I feel like you should always have it like 52, 53, 54. Um, it just helps seeing around the map a little bit better. Uh, V-Sync, 100% disable this. It will destroy your frames custom frame rate i have this on limited you can put this on um on custom and have this on 60 so you're not really running too hard on your computer while you're playing and then just cap this at like 240 250 um but i just kind of have it on limited actually you know what? let's put that on custom for you guys uh display i got 2.2 nvidia highlights disabled and i have this on enable boost i usually have this on enabled but for some reason you know how this game and this map just gives you these random packet bursts and there's random lags and all these things and when i had it on enabled it was kind of stuttering it was kind of lagging and i put it on enable boost and it, it it slowed it down i still get it you know the game is not perfect my computer's not perfect but i feel like it helped low key so i just have it on enable boost now let's go to graphics i am a 120 fov type of guy i used to play on 110 i just feel like in warzone the higher the fov usually the better um you can just kind of get away with it in in battle royale and warzone uh, i do play on affected i think affected is pretty much a must if you're playing on a high fov so make sure you know try to stick to a higher fov if you can put on affected camera movement this is very important make sure you lower this all the way down it's going to make your screen look a little bit more controllable you know it's not going to be all over the place and shaky and like kind of like this motion blur type of thing uh streaming quality we got it on low texture resolution we got it on low um some people like this on normal i'm trying to obtain a little bit more frames so i'm keeping it on low uh texture filter any strobes any so tropic I don't know if i said that right but <laughs> i have this on high um this obviously improves the quality a bit and it doesn't affect your ram really so it's good to have this a little bit higher particle quality i have this on low uh bullets impact and sprays disabled uh, tessellation disabled dismemberment and gore effects disabled people are wondering why I disable this i know it's just like when you shoot at people and yeah if you want to see the gore you want to see the heads pop off and the blood and everything it's it's okay do you but i like when i shoot at people it's clean i see the visual i see the guy there's no blood coming out of him it's just like clean clean looking easy to see easy to track so it's such a small thing but it helps so disabled on demand texture streaming make sure you have disabled this causes lag and packet burst at times so you may you want to make sure you have this disabled do not turn this on um filmic strength i have this on 1.0 because it helps with the quality it helps to make it a little bit sharper and that's nice that's nice to have uh film grain i had this on zero now you don't want film grain turn this all the way down it's gonna make your game look grainy as you can see on the right you can't really see because my cam is blocking but uh dlss i have this disabled anti-aliasing i have it on sna 1x um filmic sma 22 whatever you know what i'm still trying to say um it does look like it looks how to explain it it looks less hd but more fluid if that makes sense uh this makes it look more hd you can kind of see better in a map like in warzone and caldera and especially when you're looking for far you want to be able to see details you want to be able to see the map you want you want to be able to see people from far clear clean so in the map may not look as like fluid but it, it looks it technically looks better so i like this one more that's the field make sure you have this disabled world uh motion blur have disabled weapon motion blur have this disabled your screen's gonna look all blurry you don't want that uh shadow map resolution low make sure to enable these these actually help you basically with a little bit with frames uh particle lightning lighting i have this on low um i have heard people having this on high and ultra i did have this high on ultra on vanguard but i'm currently testing low because uh it was really recommended to me so that's what i'm rocking with for now um you can keep this ultra and high if you think it's going to help you 
direct x we have this on disabled ambient disabled uh ssr disabled and these are big settings that if you do not have these settings disabled you will it will eat your frames up like i've had settings where i disabled them like some of these like ambient and screen space reflection and i instantly gain like 20 20 frames 25 frames so a lot of these settings it's very important that you disable them like yeah maybe in a way they might help your quality a little bit but it's just not worth it uh for interface i do have trintopia on uh, it's just something i've been using some mod since modern warfare i just kind of like the different uh interface color effect uh i have 50 50 and everything uh make sure your mini map resolution or rotation is on enabled and square um pretty much it for these settings these are all pretty much pretty uh simple for audio i do play on boost low this feels the best for me it's loud but it's like clear ish boost highs everything sounds so weird i don't know boost low just sounds loud but like natural we got the master volume 100 dialogue volume it's good to have it because it calls out people if they're flying over you uav and stuff so i have like 40 um effects volume on 30 i have a go xlr so i'm able to you know if i want like if you do not if you can't control if you don't have a mix amp or go xlr then you maybe want to test this a little bit more but i'm able to kind of raise my volume really high or slow, slightly lower it if it's too loud for me so this is kind of my settings uh i do have the hit marker classic uh for my voice chat i just have the stuff i use and for the last setting and the last important thing i am a controller player and i'm sure a lot of you guys are watching this are probably controller i don't want to say everybody but i am controller gang gang hey leave a like if you're controller gang too baby uh but i've been using controller don't don't worry i love i love mouse and keyboard no hate on mouse and keyboard but i have been using controller uh for a long time now and uh i play on tactical flipped um i just like shooting with my bumpers over my triggers it's something i got used to a long time ago uh, my left stick dead zone is on zero it's your moving stick and you just want to really have no delay when you move to left or right or wherever you're trying to go it's instant right it's a it's a it's a moving stick it's not really that important even it's really hard to have i guess uh drifting on that stick the best way to explain it so it's just really good to have that instant like as soon as you just touch it it moves it's good to have that especially with movement but on my right stick i do have it on the default zero, default 0 0.05 uh, if you have a little bit uh drift thing going on then you want to uh move it up a little bit to kind of help with that but you things you got to understand is the more the higher you put this thing the weirder and harder it is going to be for you to shoot with your right stick because those little minuscule adjustments you make is going to be a lot more difficult and it's just going to affect your shot and just being completely honest if you got to go higher than like 0.10 if default's not working and 7.9 and, and 8 and 10 is not working if you got to go higher into this you probably should try to get a new controller soon because it's just going to affect you and something you can do and it actually helps is one you can blow into your stick yes i've done this before actually it's like a temporary solution but you can keep doing it over and over and over again and it'll kind of help with that and two if your if your stick is drifting a little bit just like kind of click it in and just move it around and it kind of gets rid, rid, rid of it unless it's a very serious problem then you probably just need a new controller uh, for my left stick, max input, 0.99. And for my right stick, max input dead zone, 0.99. Uh, I recently switched to 7.7, 0.86. It's just a little bit more enjoyable to play because it's just more cracked. It's more, uh, you know, you're faster. I literally switched to this a couple days ago, but I always recommend a sense between like 5 and 8. Like I was playing on 6.61, um, but I decided to try 7.7, 0.86. It's basically 7.7, obviously, when I'm moving around, and 0.86 is almost like one, times 1. So basically like 6 cents when I'm ADSing. So it's a little bit if you want guys want to test this out the sense you guys can but like i said really highly recommend between five to eight cents try not to be any lower than that and anything higher than that it's gonna affect your gameplay and the reason why biggest thing i want to say before we go on to the next thing why i recommend uh lower sense is not because i don't 100 you can control it i think if you lower your ads sense you can control it easier when you're shooting at people it's not back in the day how it's like harder to control ads sense because now you have something you can actually adjust while you're adsing which is fairly new well like two years ago um but a big reason why is your centering centering is really important in call of duty centering is really important at any high level and if you're trying to be one of the best and the higher senses the harder it is and the more and the harder you have to focus on centering and it's just never going to be as uh, consistent so that's why i always recommend like nothing higher than eight because centering becomes very hard uh my custom sense i do have my two times and three times slightly lower than my ads sense just so i beam a little harder uh, you can kind of test around with this. Um, I definitely like it if I'm zoomed in a lot more, like a lot farther, like just having it that's slightly lower than what my ADS sense is normally, like kind of close up is definitely nice. I feel like it allows me to really beam. 
I do play on dynamic. I highly recommend you guys play on dynamic if you haven't already. It is super good. Uh, a lot of pros, 97% of pro players play on dynamic. So make sure you're playing on it. Uh, controller vibration disabled. Aim assist standard. Uh, scale aim assist with FOV disabled. I make sure to disable this um because apparently the hitboxes are a lot better when it's disabled when it's enabled the hitboxes become really weird and i've tried both and i really like it i like it more disabled uh this is kind of all basic stuff here contextual tap obviously is kind of a must armor play behavior apply all is really nice slide behavior tap very important to have slide behavior tap this is going to help your slide cancels a lot more uh i do run automatic sprint so i got the automatic tactical sprint and uh make sure these two are disabled that's a very big vehicle camera recenter when you get out of vehicle you don't want your guy to recenter to your screen you want to be aimed at wherever you're looking at and then parachute auto deploy is obviously important too so you can kind of control when you want to deploy deploy so those are all my settings a lot of things to go through obviously you can skip through this video if you miss something you can go back pick it up watch it again um i felt like i went did pretty good going through your settings talking a little bit about them not spending too much time on some of them um but i did want to go in detail with some of the controller settings so you guys have a better understanding and obviously like i like to be very informative and talk to you guys and explain to you guys some things so you guys have a better understanding or not just like assuming things and assuming like i'm just kind of talking out of my butt cheek but either way guys I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, it's a pleasure of me helping you guys out and informing you guys and trying to give you guys tips and just helping you guys get better gameplay, better performances, better donkathies, better apathies. I don't know. I don't know. I was going with that. Ah! Oh, yeah. Are you liking the Caldera map? If not, why? It's all good. If you just don't like it, you can just leave. You don't like it. But either way, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I'm going to be posting a lot of Caldera content informative content tip content and on top of it really good gameplays and that's the plan so let's do this oh and don't forget catch me at twitch.tv slash apathy i stream pretty much every single day i'll be there i'll be live you can you know follow me don't miss me and see me okay love y'all have a good day bye